Right, guys, so as you can see, we are back in the warehouse. It has been three or four days since Britain's Strongest Man. I was in the gym Monday getting my wee blood flow, and I'm now training for Arnold's No Rest for the Wicked. Obviously, Britain's Strongest Man went to plan. I executed everything I needed to do. The only thing that went a bit wrong was the bad tosses because I said to Dan, only speak or only shout if it doesn't go over. And with his angle, he thought it didn't go over. But um, yeah, didn't make really much of odds. I know that I can just uh, improve on that and stuff, but yeah, who cares about that? Deadlift, unbelievable five reps is what I wanted. Won the axle, I knew I was gonna be quite comfortable on the axle. My biggest shot for me was winning the arm over arm and stuff. A lot of fit guys in there and I thought, you know, my fitness may have been down a wee bit, but surprisingly not, I won that by a 0.5 of a second against Luke. Very good performance for myself. Very, very glad and very proud of Luke coming third as well. Um, his new training style, his new training, his new coach has really kind of helped him. Pulling 400 for two was unbelievable. And, you know, second place on the axle, second place on the arm over arm. He's training good, so he's going to be at Europe by himself. Just so I can repeat, Europe's strongest man. I will not be at Europe's strongest man. I haven't been at Europe's strongest man for four years. I do not do Europe's strongest man right now anyway, because it's too close for me for world's strongest man. I am doing the two Arnolds, which are coming up in March. And then after that, I'll be training for Worlds. So yeah, anyway, that's me, got momentum and motivation. But now, the weather is absolutely crap. And also the reason Luke's not here is because I think everybody knows that Cushy is pregnant and just about to pop with a baby. And he and her are at the hospital now, waiting for that big massive boy to come out. So yeah. Um, we wish them luck. Good luck, Luke. Good luck, Cushy. Next time you see Luke, he'll have a baby in his hands. So, yeah, I'm here. Today is stone press day. So, obviously, you know, we got stones from Brett Nickel. We got some st stones to stone press, stones to go to shoulders. But firstly, we're going to get back on this bad boy. Today, we have got yoke. No, sorry, we've got log first. Then we've got yoke into dumbbells. I don't really have that much because log, log clean and press is what I'm meant to do today. One set of probably like one or two reps. It's, you know, I'm not log press since obviously uh, Rogue. And you know, my whole, my full, full focus has obviously been axle press. I did have a wee play about obviously dumbbells and stuff in the off season where I was hitting quite big numbers. But when you're talking about Arnold, you're probably talking about dumbbell medley up to probably about 180 kilograms. <laughs> We've got a heavy dumbbell. So yeah, my plan today is just to go through the motions of log. I don't have much time to, obviously my, my press is going really good, but I don't have much time to train really hard on the log. So Right in the next few weeks is just about kind of doing really kind of heavy doubles and so I can get used to having the lock here again and maybe get, you know, get 190 for a few or 180 for a few then we're in a very good place coming to the competition. Same with the dumbbell. Yeah, and also we bought a stone of steel as well, which is in the gym, which we're going to be doing some of that stuff on as well, like the kind of the no tacky and obviously pickups, which will really help with natural stones as well. So yeah, there's a lot of things planned. I also bought a new frame, which is uh, going to be very cool. Obviously we've been using some a wee rubbishy frame, which you'll probably see on see next week when we when we take that through to the warehouse. But uh, yeah, let's get rock and roll in and see what happens. Another rep, another rep of this one ten, and then we're just going to take out the big bad boy. Before we press it, I'll, I'll wait again just to make sure it was obviously when we got it, it was one forty. Last time we've been using it for Glasgow, it was 132. It'll probably be that, but I just want to make sure that it's uh, the right weight, so I'm not taking away or adding weight to it, because that would be a nightmare. Doing 10k more than, you actually, than it actually is, or doing 10k less. <coughs> Set the log, 132.5. It's only lost 8k since we've got it, so it's not too bad yet. At least I know now it's not 140. We're just going to go up in singles and just see where we are. Like I said, we're not doing anything. We're not doing anything special. It's just to get my body back into this kind of position. Obviously, it's this with an axle, but just from here as well. So let's see what happens. Um, we'll take this off now. We're going to just do a single like this, get nice and kind of explosive with it. I'm taking a bit longer as well. I used to, I used to go in and not breathe. Now I'm breathing a wee bit, sitting on my chest a wee bit, just to get used to it. I'm trying to keep the elbows high. Sometimes people dip elbows low, and that's when you lose everything. So 
It's important not to rush when it's on your chest. I know it's heavy, but... <clears throat> I felt fine. I felt in control. It's just I just need to get some like heavy cleans on. So hopefully this will feel just easy. This is one seven two. I'm trying not to put any sleeves on as well because this is my first week back log and I mean that's how my log got up at the Glasgow was not putting any really sleeves on too much. So you know, I just want to keep getting my raw raw pressing kind of strong. are done, that's ready to go. Nice getting under a yoke actually. I'm going to try a few different things from the yoke. Um, obviously I have to wear these because it's a medley. Hi. I can never run with, it's an opposite because a lot of people can run with uh, powerlifting shoes on but I just feel like I'm so like that doing it. When I love to do it in trainers and moving events and it just means these might be a bit harder but on my head it's like it's just footwear. You know like I've gone to places where I can lift that stone in anything I wear. I press things for like special guest stuff so I mean in my head it's just footwear I can still wear this I can still wear this I can still wear a belt so yeah let's see what this right now we're going to warm up with 50k bang then we're going to warm up with 70 or so hopefully they feel nice and snappy then I'm going to try and just do 300k yoke 10 or so meters run here and then just see the dumbbell you know I don't know what I don't know, I don't know what I'm expecting so we'll just see what happens but I do expect to lift 50 kilograms One more of these, then I'm going to belt up, try the 104 before I go on the yoke. Obviously, it's a massive jump, so I want to make sure it's in my head how to, I can do it. And then it's just, depending on how everything goes, it might just be this week. I've got a big week ahead. Just one run of the yoke and then a double at that. Um, that'll be a good position for myself as well. So.
Yeah. Yeah, the good thing about this natural stones is there's not really a way to lift it. I mean, that could be upside down for all I know, but it's just, it's better just to go in and try it. You know, there's, there's no, uh, these natural stones are natural stones. They're not, they don't have kind of handles of that on them. So we're going to give it a bash, see how it is. Take your time. There she goes, keep going. Right guys, so, wow, that was a I mean, hectic session. That's very, very proud and very pleased with what I did. Thought my body wasn't gonna kinda <laughs> keep up to my mental side of things. I mentally wanted to hit like a 180 for a single on the log, hit it twice. Um, did obviously the yoke into dumbbell. My dumbbell's feeling very good now. I used to, well, everybody that knows me, look at the back of the videos, I used to think 100K was hard. So I'm very pleased with that. Stone the shoulder, that's a beach of an event. But again, it's just a thing about finding the balance. The good thing is, you know, I'm hitting it now. I did a double of it in training. Um, this stone's an absolute mofo of a stone. Uh, we got pressing stones as well, which I did some warm up with them. We didn't waste you on camera, but they're quite light anyway, like 150, 120. We should all press it, but it's uh, yeah, very nice. Got a wee cut in my ear. But, um, yeah, no giving up, and it's good. Uh, natural stones are always brutal, and yeah, just keep pra just keep practicing them. They take a lot out of your body for as well, because obviously, you know, you have to you have know, got got on your knee. Yeah, you have to kind of get it to you, and uh, they can cut you up, bruise you up. But that's the that's the fun of straw man in it. So, uh, first event session of the week done. I've got a massive deadlift session, massive life session, and another massive uh, event session this week. So let's just see how the body is. Touch wood, the body felt decent here. I'm ready. Let's say I'm very pleased I did a, a log with no uh, no sleeves on today as well and 180 for, for 182 for a double. So everything felt good. But now it's just about to go home, really kind of tap into the recovery. I got hot and cold tonight, get a cheat meal ready for a big deadlift session tomorrow and uh, take it from there. Guys, I know I said last time that Tommy's going to go in the water. He will be going in the water right now. You know, he's got a bit of a, he's a bit ill. Obviously Luke's having a baby and I'm training. So next time we go out in the sea, We'll make sure he's screaming his absolute candy little girl's bum off. And uh, you can all laugh at him and say uh, he can shout cold water makes me happy. Guys, thank you for watching. Stay safe, smile and stay spicy. And let's go a big congratulations to Luke and Kush on becoming parents very, very soon. Let's get it in the comment and send him some love. Stay spicy, guys. What's happening, guys? Surprise! And you thought you weren't going to get me waffling on. Um, so, like Tommy said in his training, um, Cushy got a little bit excited over the weekend, seeing as I did quite well, got podium at Britain's Strongest Man, and hence why I'm sat here outside the hospital in Inverness. We got taken in on Monday, um, it is Wednesday, um, Wednesday evening, half four in the evening. Um, so we've been here a couple of days already, uh, sleeping in the hospital floors, kind of getting a couple hours of sleep back at Cushy's mum and dad's place. Um, Feeling good, Cushy's good, the baby's good. He's he's a strong wee so and so. Just been a bit stubborn. Um, so hopefully in the next day or so uh, we should be getting him out and uh, welcoming him to this world, which will be pretty amazing. Um, so I just thought I'd come down to a little chat, a little update. Obviously the weekend, um, absolutely. Still feel like I'm on a high as well. Like, Body's feeling so good just now. Like, literally, I, 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 I've got no aches, no pains, no elbow pain, no shoulder pain, no knee pain, which is fantastic. I'm so happy. And again, that's, I slept on the floor for about, I don't know, however, however many hours last night. So, feeling really good. And that's just more confidence I'm needing. I'm, I've got that confidence now. And, you know, going into. Uh, the rest of the year, um, feeling really buzzing with things. Just can't wait to get back to training. Um, obviously, can't wait to meet the wee man first. Um, spend some time with him and Cushy. Um, and then, you know, 
plan is, or the plan is next week, get back in the training, get back in the gym with Big Tommy. Um, I know Tom's looking fantastic. He absolutely smashed um, Britain's strongest man. And, you know, as did Big Gav, the bull built in. What a, what, a, what a big chap Gav is, man. He's class. Um, so huge, you know, shout out to to Big Tom and Gav and, you know, Shane, Kane, Bish, the rest of the team, all the, all the squad, you know, it was, I just was speaking to Darren Sadler earlier on, just saying what a show, I, I felt, it felt really special at Britain's Strongest Man. Um, so yeah, that's it, so, Kush and I just had a lot of Nando's, a little bit of extra spice on it just to try and get the wee man moving. Um, so hopefully that'll kickstart things. Um, and then we can get into, I don't know, whatever award, the Labour Suite or whatever. And Kush will do the business and uh, he'll be here. So stay tuned for that, guys. Um, so I better head back up and see Kushi. Um, wish us luck. Special thank you to everyone for all the, the lovely messages, the, the kind words. Um, it really does mean an awful lot to us. So thank you so much, guys. And... We will see you very soon, hopefully, with a baby in hand. Take care, and as always, smile, stay safe, and stay spicy. And don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding -a -ling -a -ling.